just Marie D with uh, Marie D. <laughs> I'm here today with a bonus video. I don't normally vlog on a Monday. I normally vlog Tuesday, Thursdays, Sunday or TTS as I like to remind myself. But I've been tagged by Hayley over at Sparkles and Stretch Marks to do a baby name tag. Now, very dangerous, I know. I know, very dangerous to do baby name tags putting it out there bit of a warning so in saying that that it's dangerous I'm going to tag Maya and Seri and you don't have to do it as baby names you could do it as pet names as kitty cat names or as names for somebody in a game I don't know maybe but and I'm going to tag Kate Kate Lily blog yeah, so you, you can you can be my victims. I mean my my taggies. So this is a really interesting tag because it was a long time ago now that I had my babies. So my eldest is about to turn 24 and my youngest was 11 in October. So I had all my first four before I was 30. In fact, I think before I was 28 and then I had Joey at 35. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've had to name a baby and be interesting to see whether my tastes have changed at all. Question number one. I have to choose a boy and a girl's name that I like from the UK top baby name. I'm gonna choose Mia for the girl's name and Noah for the boy's name. Noah was always on my list of names, but I my husband doesn't like it, so yeah. So in a perfect world where I could have any name that I like, I would choose here and Noah. Question number two, I have to choose two names that I don't like from that same list. So I'm sorry if you have any of these in your house, but hey ho, that's life. I'm going to choose Blake and Nancy. Now I have to choose some twin names now. I don't think they have to be from the list. Just going on what Hayley chose, I don't remember seeing all her choices on the list, so I'm going to say no, they don't. So I have to choose three sets, girl, girl, boy, boy, and girl, boy. So a little, a little habit that I have when I play The Sims is that nine and a half times out of ten, I will theme the names of the, the children that you know parents have in the game. It's probably gotten worse since they've introduced top toddlers and pets into the game I've got I've got to say I do I, I theme whole families other than the theme that I often do which is to choose gin brands as names another theme that I really enjoy doing is to choose from nature I'm going to choose all my names today for the twins from nature because I kind of like that girl girl would be Rosie and Lily boy boy would be Willow and River. Girl, boy. Given that I have three sons all starting with J and I'm obviously some kind of sucker for punishment when it comes to choosing the same letter, I'm going to stick with River and Rosie. So yeah, I'm sorry about my throat. It seems to have been a bit funny. This one's hard. Well, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think so given that I just said I had three children with the same initial. So Joshua, Jacob and Joseph. Yeah, I, d I don't know that I'd ever do that again. <laughs> it's really confusing, especially when they get mail and it just comes, you know, addressed to J surname. <laughs> I'm going to stick with my R's just because I feel like I'm halfway there. <laughs> we'll go for two girls and two boys. All right. So I've chosen two planty names for the girls. So we'll go with Rosie and Rue. My cat's name is Rue, uh, and Rue is an evergreen sh shrub. And then for the boys, we will go for River and Rain, which are two water names. So yeah, there you go, I've managed to theme it. Who'd have thought, with the one letter. <laughs> Crazy. Question four, if I could change my name to anything, what would I change it to? So I think we all kind of go through a bit of a time in our life where we would think, okay, well, what would my name be if it wasn't my name? Um, and, and I can remember it going through that time in my life and actually the name that I would have chosen was Mia. So yeah, probably why I chose it for the girl's name. It was simple, it wasn't too dissimilar to Maria. So yeah, Mia is what I would have changed my name to. So question six is what is my favorite color inspired name? <laughs> um, Hayley, I'm sorry. Uh, 
I'm, I'm not offended, so don't you be. It, like I really, uh, Ruby was always one of the, the names that we had tucked aside. I'm laughing because that was one of the names that Hayley said that she didn't like, so that, that's pretty funny. Actually, uh, had a miscarriage in 2010, and interestingly, both times that I've had miscarriages, we've had very strong feelings about female names. First time, had she been a girl, we'd have called her Matilda, and the second time, um, again, like we knew that we wanted to call it Rub call the baby Ruby, had she been a girl. Now, we don't know that they were girls. We lost them, you know, before 12 weeks, but it's just really interesting that even in those early stages of being pregnant, that we both were so, you know, set that they we would have these names if they were girls. So I really like Ruby. I like Violet. But you know what? Hayley had a name yesterday, which I had never ever thought of. I'm going to pinch it because I really like it. So for a boy, I like Slate. I think that's a really nice name. Yeah, so good good one, Hayley. Good call. So what are my top three favourite boy names? I don't know. This is really difficult. I really struggle with doing these. <laughs> I've learned just today that I really struggle because I feel like I, in saying them today, that's it. Like that, I'm not ever allowed to change my, <laughs> my mind. And so I'm really struggling to commit to something. Now, I was going to say, let's go with Noah, River and Rain, but there's no actual, I thought there was no actual connection to them. But if you want a biblical connection, <laughs> there probably is that, um, yeah, that Noah, River and Rain probably is connected <laughs> in a funny kind of way. So let's go with that because they're the three that I've mentioned today. And three girls' names. If I was choosing girls' names today, I'd probably go with Rosie, Ruby and Matilda. And there's no linking theme with that whatsoever. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what the importance of having it with the boys was. Oh my god, I just spare my mind. What is my favourite celebrity name? Mia. Yeah, Mia Farrow. Yeah, Mia. What is my ultimate guilty pleasure name? My ultimate guilty pleasure name. Oscar. Yeah. I really like it. I think it's a sweet little name. But I don't think I'd ever use it. So if you were going to an indulge in a guilty pleasure, it has to kind of be something like that, wouldn't it? Something that would cause you guilt and... <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, we'll go with Oscar. What are my most hated baby names? Uh, this is really tough because there is there are actually names that I dislike, but I know people that are called them. So always a bit difficult. Uh, maybe Florence, because I couldn't imagine shortening a girl's name to Flo. <laughs> Lucas and Florence. That's what we'll go with. Choose a baby name that has to do with a food or a drink. Okay. Well, I would choose Juniper. <laughs> I would say Juniper Rose. <laughs> Juniper Rose is actually the name of my caravan. I chose Juniper because it is the main botanical that makes gin gin. Choose a baby name based on a month of the year. April, because that's my birthday. <laughs> Choose a baby name from a movie. Hmm. If I was choosing a boy's name, I would choose Charlie from Charlie's Angels. <laughs> the, if I was choosing a girl's name, not a movie, but a you know TV st series, I would choose Aria from uh, Half Star. And that's it. So it's taken me 30 minutes, and that's just on this take alone, let alone the other 20 minutes. <laughs> because I obviously have commitment phobia when it comes to um, committing to things on a tag that actually have no life binding consequences <laughs> whatsoever and I can change my mind about at any moment. So yeah, the, I got some issues to work through there. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I've been Maria. If you like this kind of thing, then please uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button.
so that I know that you like them. If you, could, if you want to leave me a comment, that would be wonderful too, with what some of your favorite baby names are. Seri and Maya, I'm gonna tag you guys. Uh, I don't know how or if you can make that work or whether you want to make that work, but if you want to play along, you can. And uh, Kate from Kate Lily Blog, I'll tag you as well. So yeah, okay, that, that's it. I'm um, off to go and see a therapist about <laughs> my issues, my commitment issues towards baby names. <sighs> okay, we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.